<laughs> hey YouTube, so for my 600 subs, I was wanting to make a, a simple effects video. Um, some of you have asked me how I do certain things. Um, ow. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do some things. Most of you will know it depending on where, what stage you're at. Um, but some of you may have always wondered how that works and never asked. So I'm going to show you now. Yeah. Hello, hello. Back again. This is my effects video and I am starting with one of the ones that someone suggested which is things in my super massive black hole MEP part video. Um, Firstly, just to give you a look around here, there's my audio, underlays, uh, main track which has a chroma key so I can see the pretty underlays, ta-da, and uh, here is my, I guess, second layer, my overlays which is the pretty purple, and my logo watermark thingy is on top. Okay, so first of all some of you are asking how I did the two colors and stuff like that it's really simple really easy you just uh, put one one uh, one clip on top of the other they're exactly identical and uh, you mask and cut out a square that's that's all um, it doesn't even have to be even sometimes it looks cool if uh, you do like diagonals and things like that so um you know, give it your own edge, give it your own style. This track has different coloring to this track, which creates the different effects. Um, and those, both of those colorings are present in my coloring video. Uh, yeah, so it's really easy to do those kind of things. Same difference with this kind of thing, um, with the two, uh, two different tracks you create your original shape and then you create different uh, points along your masking timeline and then you move the shape as you go down the points which uh, in turn changes your video of course uh, now in able to see some see how laggy that was uh, I learned a thing not too long ago, which um, it's actually really easy. You go Shift B, and then it goes through your timeline and like pre-renders it, so you don't have to save it as a movie file to see what you've got. Like some of you may already know that. I only just learned it, but you know that shows how uh, slow I am, maybe. <laughs> um, but in order to do that, you have to go Options, Preferences, and make sure in your Video tab that your Dynamic RAM preview max is quite high. Mine's set to 900, 700 to 900 would work fine. Um, so yeah, now I can watch it and it'll be smooth as a bunny. <laughs> um, this here is the same deal, two tracks on top of each other. Oh, if you're, um, if you're putting in any zooms, make sure you do that before you copy and paste it. It's just going to be a bitch to change. Um, this, uh, in my videos, as you can see, everything has pan crop because everything has a zoom in it. This one here is zoom out and then followed by zoom in. That's the pattern I do and that creates, and it's not a very big zoom, it's just a quite subtle one over the clip, but it creates a kind of uh, flow to your video, um, which is, you know, it's what you need when you're making AMVs. Uh, here I've done cookie cutter. You start off and the cookie, you click animate. I've got Vegas Pro 11 which is quite new. It's got these things for animate else you'll actually see a thing called animate. Um, and you make it start off quite small and then you make the circle size end up being quite big. Here's the size adjuster um, and see how it changes. Um, so then it starts off here 
goes out here. It's just a nifty effect and it's getting quite popular for those who haven't discovered it yet. Um, yeah, uh, if you haven't actually um, discovered how to, uh, if you don't have masking, I mean, uh, you can always use a simple transition called um, barn door and it, um, I've, I've made these ones myself because these ones are all too thick in my opinion but um yeah it pretty much does the same thing with uh, like this where it starts off small and it comes out bigger um, but that's just a transition so you don't have as much control um, see and it's it's going wider and wider and wider until it's my new clip yeah I'm gonna show you probably another video um, t -t 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 -t. I'll show you some stuff from this one. Here is my tonight tonight one with Cusco. It's I'm talking about text here, so um, I'm just gonna pre-render it like I showed you before. Shift B, and if you just watch it here, you can see oh, it's behind Cusco's head. And again, the text is behind Cusco. So it's really easy effect to do. All you have to do is just bring them two tracks. So there's the bottom one. This one has no masking. Whereas this one up here does have masking. And uh, I pretty much just cut him out like a normal mask. And then um, shove the text in between the two clips. And that's how you do it. Really easy. Just masking, of course, is time consuming. Um, you can see it here too, I think. Yeah, underneath. Um, let's see, I think I was going to also show you, to do, 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 this one, now, here, um, yeah, uh, it's just simple columns, someone was saying that I use cookie cutter, I actually don't see how I can do that, I have never figured that out cookie cutter baffles me. I just, masking is so much easier, you have so much more control, that's all this is. This is just masking, um, you cut out what you want and then in your position you move it to where you want it on your screen. So I've moved him all the way over obviously um, and then you do that so that when you put it all together, um, oh, I've stuffed that one up but usually I'm just putting them up and down. Um, yeah, so if we click play, see? It's just like this weird little, it works well with piano things. Um, this one I've done the same thing, except I've cut out Aladdin, so I've put these tracks all on top of each other. And, um, and each mask of him shows a different part of him, and then I've put them all do, do, do on each other. Um, on a pretty jasmine right here which turns into a mask as well. And you'll see, oh my gosh, you'll see that this is not stuffed up here. This looks really perfect here on my video. And then all of a sudden, I put it into my... I, I, I rendered it and I put it on YouTube and the mask you'll see with this Aladdin mask is completely stuffed up. And some of you didn't notice, actually. Um, which is quite... I find that funny. Um, but I think my friend Smallwood told me that if you click disable resample or something, that should actually fix that problem. Not that I knew it at the time. Uh, yeah. So that's all I'm going to show you for today, guys, because um, I don't have much time. But I realized I didn't actually ask you what you wanted to see here. So if you want to ask anything that you... Um, like any effects you want me to show you and things like that I'll be all the more happy to make another tutorial video um, for my 600 subs as well which will show you a bit more clearly um, some more effects you want to see because you know I just kinda made this on a whim and haven't really you know this is for you guys it should be what you guys want to see but you know um, yeah so just remember the little tips I have you know zoom in and out on everything See, he's getting zoomed in on. She's getting zoomed in on. Yeah. Um. Oh, he's also fading to black, which is the same deal with video effects. 
black and white and then you click animate again and change it um, really simple guys so any more questions please ask write in a comment message wherever and I will make another video if you so desire me to uh, so I'll talk to you all soon and thank you for watching thank you for being my subscribers thank you for everything uh, it means a lot and uh, yeah I'll speak to you guys soon bye